and we are at step five now of the six steps to a winning pitch and this one is all about purpose so purpose <laughs> absolutely john when we think about pitching we think of ourselves getting out there to win a deal my book is called pitch to win the program mm -hmm. is pitch to win. but the best way to win is to focus not so much on what you're going to get but on what you're going to give mm -hmm. and i just want to ask you this you are two people pitching you the same product pretty much the same price same quality and let's be honest in an increasingly commoditized world yeah. there's usually somebody who's got something pretty similar the one person you just get the sense, man, they are there. They want to, they really have John's interests at heart. They want to make sure that John wins, that his business thrives through their offering. You even get the sense that if they really believe that they were not the right provider, they would let you know. They'd say, John, you know yeah. what? I'd love to do business with you at some point, but I think right now you're probably going to be better off with someone else. Mm -hmm. But maybe not. Maybe they, you know, they, they are the right person, right. But, but their primary focus is your interests. Mm -hmm. The other person, their focus is on winning the deal. They are hungry to get you to sign that check. They are hungry to, to, to tick that box, to get that commission. Who are you going to choose? Yeah, yeah. For it's sure. a sense. You just, right? There's yeah. no doubt, right? You've got to choose the giver. We love givers. By the way, you can pretty much... Uh, uh, Professor Adam Grant, one of my favorite uh, authors at the moment, a wonderful scientist, he says you, you really can uh, divide the world into givers, takers, and natchers. You know, <laughs> givers are people who are out there and say, hey, I want to serve. Mm -hmm. They're filled with purpose, with mission. They want to make a difference out there. And, and hey, they're going to give, and they're going to give even when they don't get straight back. And, and anybody who's listening to this might think, well, you know, if, as a salesperson, if I'm constantly giving and I'm not getting it, I'm, I'm going to starve. No, I get it. Ultimately, it's got to be reciprocal. By the way, people don't value ultimately they pay, what they don't pay for. So they need to, yeah. there needs to be that exchange. However, it takes a while for people to get comfortable. And so we actually want to prove to them that we have value. And we do that by actually giving them value initially. And that's, you know, one of the things I know, I know you do this as well. I put out a blog every couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. I do, uh, where I give a lot of away, a lot of powerful information. I give that away. I want people to experience it and to go, wow, this stuff is good. I'm not even selling them anything. Right. I'm just giving them great content. Hey, you're doing this right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we're doing this. We're, we're giving this value. Neither of us is being remunerated for this. We're doing this. Well, I think we do it for two reasons. One, I think you and I are really passionate about what we do. Mm -hmm. We want to make a difference in the world. And we feel right now, you and I, we might not be remunerated right now, but we feel like what? We're on purpose. Yeah. We're on mission. We're sharing content mm -hmm. that we know is powerful because it's built our own businesses. And we're sharing it with the world. And we love that. Now, yes, of course, ultimately, we want to get remunerated because that's important, by the way. Money's important because yeah, the more money you have, if you're good, the more good you can do. And you can build your business and you can reach more people. However, initially, we know if we're going to pull people in, we need to give them. In a sense, what we're doing is we're sampling here. So we're giving, we're serving right now. We're serving. You know, we're not, we're not, we're not, yeah, we're, we're not overtly selling anything. And yet, actually, through serving, we have the best possible, uh, possible chance of eventually selling because people are getting value, right? So yeah. what we want to do, and you do this in different ways, it can be through a sample, it can be being an expert in your industry by giving people information, by giving them great, you know, if you're in real estate, be the, be the real estate expert and just so that you can hey, give people, uh, you know, let me tell you what the average property price is in your area right now. I can give you that information. Mm -hmm. Now that's valuable for people, just giving it to them. And guess what? When they want to sell their, their house, where, who are they going to go to, right? They're going to get yeah. that person who served them. Before they sell. So really, we need to serve before we sell. That's, mm -hmm. that's truly what we need to do. And if we're going to do that, we need to be driven by purpose. And so the sixth uh, key, I believe the fifth key to a winning pitch is purpose. And it really has to do with that sense of mission that you have. Now, one way to get clear about this, particularly in the short period of time that we have available here, is a question you can ask yourself is how are people's lives going to be better off because of me? Right. 
purpose? How are they going to be better because of me? If you can go into that pitch, if you can go into that sales pitch with the sense that, darn it, this is, this is how they can be better off because of me. This is the difference that I can make. If you are convinced of that, remember we spoke yes, about this, it's contagious. Mm -hmm. they, your conviction is contagious, but you've got to have it. So ask yourself, how are people going to be better? How are they going to be better because of me? That's mission. Mm -hmm. That's purpose. Yes, and it's, all, it's also the, the, the concept of what you put out into the universe is what's going to come back to you, right? So, I mean, if you were out, you know, giving and um, creating good solutions for people, really, really taking the time to understand, I mean, it'll come back to you. Maybe not always immediately, but ultimately it will. Absolutely. And it goes back to our first key to winning pitch, tune in, which is that if you are really going to serve, you need to tune in. Who are they? What do they need? What do they want? Right? When they sense that. And, John, you know, everything that I teach is based and um, backed up by solid research. I'm a bit of a research nut. Mm -hmm. Group research at Wharton Business School on this. Two groups of salespeople. They prime the one with uh, uh what I call being a missionary. So they share stories of clients whose lives and businesses have been positively impacted by the offering of this company. And the other group are what I'd call mercenaries. They prime them with stories of other salespeople who'd been really successful in the same job. So think of them as the, the missionaries are the how we go out there and make a difference, look at the cool things that our products are doing versus the mercenaries Oh, wow, look how much commission I can earn. Look how successful I can be. Now, both are important, by the way. I have no issue with commissions and being yeah. successful. And yeah. Absolutely. So did the mercenaries increase sales? Sure they did. But guess what? The missionaries doubled the increase of the right. mercenaries. Doubled. Right. And that tells you the power of purpose. When people are on purpose, when they feel like they're making a difference, they tend to find more solutions, be more focused. They're happier. That's what they're they, they literally, they got that they're happier. Think about it. I mean, you... You going out there and you know, well, I'm going to make a difference. Hey, you don't get that deal. You're like, yeah, but I know I'm on mission. It's, it's cool. I might not get it now. I'll, I'll get the next one, you know. Uh, whereas if you're a mercenary, well, I'm going out there and oh, I didn't get it. It just it changes your motivation level. So mm -hmm. most sales managers are focusing almost exclusively on incentives and, again, important. But most are not looking at, hey, guys, why are we here? And by the way, that's yeah. the critical question of yeah. purpose. Why are we here? What is your why? What is the reason? What is the difference that we make in the world? When you can go out each day with that primer, with that top of mind, I mean, people can just, they can feel that. And it just, it's such an energy booster for you because you know you're on mission. Yeah, no, I couldn't agree more. And I, and I think that's the, that's where the authenticity comes from if you're actually really on purpose.